In this video, we are going to cover another very important part of AngularJS that is creating the custom services. So, for covering the services, we'll see how can we create the services here using the service method and how can we do the same thing through the factory. But before getting started, let's see what are services and why should we go for services. Like whenever you create the application through any object oriented mean, you have something called solid principle. In solid principle, we have S that stands for single responsibility. That simply means that whenever you create a chunk of code that must perform a single responsibility in order to reuse that particular task. For example, we have a service called HTTP which helps us in loading the data. But if I would write the complete code inside one controller, I will not be able to use this particular service in any other controller. All right. So just to make my code independent, we can go for the service. As I said, that it is a separation of concern and we can also uh, pursue the solid principle in the solid, sorry, single responsibility principle of the solids. All right. So it is again a JavaScript function which will do a specific task and then later you can consume the service on, on any controller. All right. So you can also refer the same through uh, for the dependency injection. All right. But we will cover the dependency injection separately. All right. Now we have two methods here for creating a service that is factory method and service method. So let's have a look for the factory method first. Here you can see when I use the factory method to create a service here, I'm just taking a sample service. Uh, code is not important for me, but yes, the uh, way what the factory method is actually doing is important. So let's focus on that. So here uh, factory is uh, creating a service called mass service inside which I have created the JavaScript object. All right. Whenever you initialize anything with the square bracket, that simply means it is an object. All right. So this object may have multiple methods or we can create a number of objects inside this service or you can just create a single method means you can do whatever you want to do inside a factory. All right. Keep on adding the functionalities inside this factory object and finally you can return the object. All right. Or any single function. It's all customizable. All right. You can plan how you want to use this service method and then you can use this factory method in the any controller in order to use that in a particular view. Now let's have a look with the service method. Here you can see that nowhere I have created an object. All right. And nowhere I am returning that. When you use the service method, the object is being taken implicitly, which you can point using this keyword. And once you are done, so this default object would be returned to the controller or wherever you would be consuming this. All right. So here you can add as many as functionalities and properties you want to add on the object, but it will only be a single object. And next thing you can't return a single method or single property out of it. The complete object would be returned always. All right. So you can choose what you want to use. All right. Here in just an example, I have used the mass service, the previous service I have used here as well. All right. But it is not a mandatory thing. So let's see how the implementation of such services will be done. All right. Let's have a look how to create these services using the factory and service methods. So here, as you can check, like first I have taken a factory method where I have used a service called math service in which I have taken the blank object, like I said, like whenever you initialize with the double curly braces, it is the like an object. So with this factory object, we have bound a method called multiply where I pass a two arguments like A and B. And whenever you will be calling this method, it will return the product of A and B. All right. So since this is the factory method, we took one object we add the method. You can add as many as method as you want. And finally, you can return either one or one of the component of this object or the complete object as a whole. That is the speciality 
of the factory pattern the factory method we are implementing right here but when I talk about the service method so in this you don't need to create an object you don't need to return an object it itself create an object which we call this and it also returns the complete object itself right so in this service method you can have a single object automatically whenever you would be calling this so here in this calc service I have also used a dependency like math service but it is not mandatory you can create a completely independent service with the service method as well so since we have used the math service you can see like along with there is a function called square where it will just take one argument and it will internally call the math service dot multiply method the same method which we just defined in the factory method and in the two argument here we pass the same number all right so this is how I created a couple of methods couple of services using the factory and the service method and now finally I'm going to associate one of the service through our controller in our view so here in this controller called calc controller you can see that I have used a couple of services first is a scope as we are using it from the very beginning and second is again a service like sometime we use HTTP service this time I am using my own created service called calc service so as soon as I'll approach that I will get something called square function which we are calling right here with the square calc service dot square as a function and here with the scope object we have bind a property called square which we can directly use that in the view and here along with this function square we have also associated a property called result which will store the result of the square product of this number and it will be shown this result would be shown in the page so let's see how we have done that so here you can check that I have used the same module main app along with the cal controller controller name and whenever you will click on this button I will call this square function which I just associated with this scope object and it will print the result function result the value of result right here in this uh, paragraph tag alright so let's see how this output is actually looking like Alright, so here, as soon as I, I can enter any value out here, as soon as I click it, you can see the square right here. Alright, so this is how you can see the uh, implementation of services using the factory and service method.